Hi, and welcome back to Harbour Unboxed. I'm your host, Matt, and today we've got the first look at the Corsair Carbide 600C inverted ATX case. Corsair is a well-liked and often utilised company for their variety of products, and their range of cases covers nearly every nook and cranny of the market. Today we're taking a look at a product that fills one of the few gaps they have left. The Carbide 600C is an inverted motherboard ATX case. There's much more to the 600C than its motherboard orientation party trick, however. The design and build quality is excellent, and the case gives a high-end first impression with its sleek and elegant appearance. The front side's very minimalist, presenting just two panels and the Corsair logo at the bottom right. The panel itself is mostly plastic, however the face has been wrapped in a sheet of painted steel, which gives it that premium look and feel. The upper panel is actually a clever little door that opens up to reveal a pair of five and a quarter inch drive bays. Corsair's attention to detail is on show here with the door panel sound deadening insulation and a small set of magnets to keep the door closed. The entire front panel is removable by six tabs inside the case. Moving on to the sides of the case, there's not much to mention on the left, just a nice steel panel that slides on and is secured by a pair of screws at the back. The right side, however, is a brilliant hinged door made from tinted acrylic that allows you to show off and easily access your upside down hardware, which can be quickly released by the sliding door handle at the front. The door can also be completely removed easily when you need to do so. Up top, there's another simple steel facade with nothing but an I.O. panel featuring two USB 2 ports, two USB 3 ports, two audio jacks, a three speed fan controller and your power and restart buttons. On the back side, you'll find a 140mm fan grill and motherboard I.O. cutout at the bottom, followed by eight expansion slots and a vertical grill for airflow. Finally at the top is the removable power supply bracket. Has the world gone topsy-turvy? Finally, lined by a large magnet attached dust filter, the bottom of the case features four large feet that will allow space for bottom mounted fans if necessary. Now let's take a look inside. As expected from Corsair, the internal design is great. The motherboard tray features a large cutout which allows for aftermarket cooling and cable routing has been catered for by four large grommets, one at the top of the case and three running vertically down the front end of the case. Behind the motherboard tray there's between 25 and 35 millimeters of space for excess cabling and Corsair has included some handy tabs to zip tie your cables to. Cooling wise, all of the supplied fans cater to the main section of the case, rendering the three and a half inch bays up top to fend for themselves. And the PSU is also limited to air supply from the front intake fans, which we hope won't be a problem. Two front intake fans will draw the air in, while one exhaust fan at the back will pump the air out. But you can also install additional fans at the bottom of the case as mentioned. In terms of radiator space, the bottom of the case can support sizes up to 360 millimeters. The front can handle 280 millimeters and the rear is limited to 140 millimeters. There's plenty of room for CPU coolers with space for aftermarket coolers as tall as 200 millimeters. There's plenty of space for your graphics card too, with the 600C accepting lengths up to 395 millimeters without interfering with anything else inside the case. At the top of the case, there are a pair of plastic panels that shield the drive bays from view, which can be removed at the user's discretion, and the opposite side also grants access for installation of the power supply and drives too. All up, the 600C allows for installation of two 5.25 inch drive bays, two 3.5 inch drive cages, and three 2.5 inch drive cages, which isn't a huge amount of storage considering the case's size. However, it will be sufficient for most users. The three and a half inch bays feature quick and easy toolless cages and the clever two and a half inch slots don't even require removable trays. Now it's time to have a look at our build and installation. Despite its 63 litre capacity, the 600C is still just a mid tower. So while it's got plenty of room, it isn't designed to fit ridiculous amounts of hardware inside. For our build, we decided to go with an AMD rig, at least for the CPU, which isn't something we've done yet, so thumbs up for a little AMD FX loving. The motherboard of choice is the MSI 970 Gaming, which has been pre-fitted with 16GB of Corsair Vengeance DDR3 2133 memory and the FX8350 processor. Once the motherboard was installed inside the 600C, we fitted the massive Noctua NHD15, which fit with ease. The installation was aided by the fact that the motherboard tray provides a huge cutout for access to the rear side of the CPU socket. 
Multiple GPUs fit easily and it's even possible to get up to four cards inside at once, which we can't picture many 600C owners wanting to do, but the option is there. For something slightly more realistic, we went with a pair of GeForce GTX 980 Ti graphics cards, which should provide plenty of GPU power for 4K gaming. Powering the FX 8350 and its battery of 980 Ti graphics cards is the Silverstone Strider Gold S Series 850 watt gold certified fully modular power supply. Finally, for storage, we equipped the 600C with a pair of crucial BX200 960GB SSDs and a crucial MX200 1TB SSD. The two 3.5 inch drive bays were fitted with a pair of Western Digital Black 6TB hard drives for some big capacity storage. The Carbide Series 600C was great to work with thanks to its spacious interior and practical design. Tucking away the cables at the rear was easy too. Once everything was installed, the system looked clean, tidy, and anything but cramped. For temperature testing, we overclocked the AMD FX 8350 processor to 4.7 GHz and surprisingly under load, the CPU temperature never exceeded 50 degrees, which to my knowledge is very low. The reference design GeForce GTX 980 Ti has never exceeded 83 degrees and would idle at just 30 degrees with an ambient room temperature of 21 degrees. Overall, the 600C is a really nice case, both aesthetically and functionally. While it does kind of look like a mini fridge from in front, I really like the clean and minimalist design. While its wide design won't suit this space conscious particularly well, users who frequently upgrade their hardware will enjoy the spaciousness of the interior and ease of internal access, as well as the opportunity to show off their gear in a new and interesting way, upside down. We had concerns about cooling due to the location of the supplied fans, but the proof is in the pudding, and the 600C cooled just as well as other cases in its class. I think Corsair is on to another winner here with the Carbide Series 600C, which we expect to come in at around $150 upon release. Thanks for watching another Hardware Unbox review. If you have any questions, please let us know on our forum at hardwareunbox.com or in the comments. Don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.